All right, I'm going to do a quick reading. I want to do love readings. Oh, I want to do love readings for singles. Okay. And I want to do water signs. I am going to do, I have way, um, way overdue on the gay tarot reading. So I'm, I'm going to do that this weekend. Okay. All right, so let's start with Scorpio. Woo! Okay, now I got these, and then these just came in. These are the sirens. Goddesses and sirens. Okay, and I'm just going to uh, shuffle both decks and see what pops out here. I'll do them separate, probably. That way I won't have to mix it up. I mean try to all right so let's see Ooh, travel okay so we're in Scorpio moon now so I feel like uh, traveling Okay, set. Um, so it might be traveling to the Middle East for some of you. Okay, traveling to the Middle East. Now here it says chaos and set. So some of you might be coming together with someone from uh, Egyptian background. Okay. All right, now if recently you've been coming into contact with some sort of tough energy, um, Maybe there's been a lot on your mind, and maybe it hasn't been easy to sleep, right? Okay. Oh, wow. That's interesting. At sunset, I went out with the dogs, and the moon was like, looked almost full, right? And then it kind of was playing this kind of hide and uh, go seek behind uh, the blue sky. Oh, that's fascinating. Okay. But what I feel like this symbolizes on some level for some people, see this looks like some sort of thing back here, pillars, right? Is that, um, there is growth coming in and it may not be seen okay it, it may be a surprise okay if there has been some um, chaos energy here that's what I'm getting okay now now whatever that was uh, it's saying or suggesting keep the hope right from hope faith to knowing and if this is a singles love journey, uh, there is something coming in here. Let's see. Woo! Okay. Man, this uh, Scorpio moon is bringing in some nice energy. White buffalo woman. Now, when I think of buffalo immediately in my head, what I got was Taurus. Okay, so that's kind of the Uranus energy with lots of surprises that came, right? Okay. But white symbolizes purity. Okay, and this one's wearing a turquoise headpiece. Okay, she looks like a warrior. Okay. Now this one looks like bagpipes for some reason to me. All right, okay. Hope and peace in love. Okay, because we are doing a singles reading, but if it it might relate to someone's uh, work. Okay. And home. I feel like if you're connecting with someone, home is the place that you feel um, most sensual. That's what I'm getting. Okay, now. I feel like this symbolizes sovereignty. All right. That's what it feels like. Okay. And then redemption.
And for some of you, this temptation energy is what uh, gateways. So the new pathways are opening up, like new portals, new pathways. And for some of you, that challenging energy, right? For some of you, it could have been Pluto energy that was challenging. Okay. But then uh, that's always uh, usually brings in some higher form of energy, which I like, and brings in balance. Okay, yeah, that's what I like. Okay. All right, now we're talking about balance, so let's go in here. <laughs> but turn your world upside down. Let's turn it. Okay, so. Yeah, I was looking at these as like Shiva arms also. That's what I was picking up, but I didn't say it. And then here, look, the arms are here. Okay. Think of some activities you find exciting and do one now. Action. It's all about action. Make a list of activities that nurture your soul. Okay. Do at least one page of mindless doodling. Ooh, I like that one. A lot of creative stuff can come from doodling, right? Okay. And devote 20 minutes to any activity you find sacred or uplifting. I like that because if, the, if you were in that Pluto energy or whatever, I feel like that would help. Devote 20 minutes to any activity you find sacred or uplifting. What daily tasks bring you down? How could you improve or stop them? Create a vision board of things that motivate and inspire you. Ooh, I like that one. Okay, let's stop there. All right, now, I wanted to get a moon card. We're c coming into balance. Okay, and what was this deck? Okay. So, yeah, and if you're having problems, then you get in the solution by aligning with uh, your inner world, your guidance within Okay. Woo! Okay. So this wanted to come out. I was trying to pick from this deck. And then here this one came out. Birds. Okay. Now, birds all about spirit for me. And communicating with spirit. Okay. Ooh, there's a heart. My eye went right there. Okay. So it's like out of the cage, feeling free, right? In order to be free, you have to practice freedom in your mind, right? Okay. And in the physical reality. Okay. Inventiveness. And I feel like that doodling and just letting the, the creative energy flow is going to um, help with any kind of inventing the ideas here. Okay. So we've got the Vulcan. And then we got this. Scorpio energy, right? Okay, Hades and death. Okay, so there's a rebirth, a resurgence in love. That's what I'm getting. Even though these cards look very Egyptian. Okay, so it's showing me like lower basal energies moving up to higher, right? We're talking about wisdom, your mind. Okay, and also with this, writing may help also um, pull out some things, new doors. Okay, and this writing or vision board, right, is going to help you overcome obstacles, whether it's in uh, patterns that you've held in relationships in the past, um, just writing things out will help to uh, assimilate your past experience so that you can move with wisdom into the new relationship. Moving with the flow. Now, for some of you Scorpios, now this was interesting. In the short videos, a fish came out and then a scorpion came out. And then here's Poseidon, okay, which is in... Um, the Neptune energy is in Pisces. Okay, so you may be connecting with a Pisces. Okay, or water energy. Someone who um, 
has emotional intelligence might be more appealing to you at this time. All right, now. Woo! Okay, so I feel like it's in the public eye. Here's leadership. Zeus. So this is, if you didn't have energy before, you will have. And so will your Pisceans like to retreat a lot. And, uh, and hermit right sometimes and I feel like what this is suggesting is that um, they will be in action mode Woo! what is this oh this is that drum ring oh wow there's been this funny woodpecker that's been just trying out all different kinds of woods just playing it's like play he plays like drums. He finds different sounds in the wood, in the front yard. And it's not for food, which is the funny part, because he's just doing it because he likes the sound, which is so peculiar to me. <laughs> I don't know why, but it is. Okay, so I feel like there was a short video that I did, and it was like steady progress in a relationship that could lead to something deep. And this is showing me marriage, even, potential. Okay. And it may be someone unique beating at the their own drum, right? Rhythm, at their own rhythm. All right, let's stop there. Get a romance card, see what it says. Now, if this is a career thing for you, then it's saying that there's some sort of soul contract from past life. And if it felt very dense, right, um, it is going to move into a lighter, uh, more fluid uh, place. So that means more communication and um, new possibilities opening up where there weren't before. Okay. And sometimes that means leaving that old soulmate behind and going into a new gateway uh, with new people. Sometimes that means um, growing with the soulmate and continuing with them. Okay, now, disguise. Some elements of this relationship are hidden. And that's what's so funny is because I was trying to get a full view of the Scorpio moon and then it went behind this blue sky. <laughs> okay, so what I'm getting with that is trust it even if it, it goes dancing to a place where you feel like you can't see clarity. Feel your way through it. And those aspects will be revealed in time. That's what I'm getting. There is this sacred spiral. All right. Now, what's the next one? Natural evolution. Oh, and that was coming up in the shorts video. I might link it up. Okay. Let the situation unfold naturally. Okay. So it's like trust it even if you can't see the full view, right? Yeah, trust. I feel like that's the important part. Okay. Now, if they have a history of doing stuff, then that might be a red flag there, right? Okay, open your heart. Love is the highest energy of all. Let it in. Love language, acts of service. Didn't this come out in the shorts, too? Okay, action speaks louder, speak louder than words. Okay. So I'm getting the Nike symbol. Just do it. <laughs> okay. Ooh, perfect match. Okay. You complete each other in the most harmonious way. Ooh, wow. That sounds dreamy. Okay. And I feel like that is a nice place since we're talking about Toth wisdom. Let's uh, get, I don't have a Toth cards for wisdom, but I do have the Tao. So let's see what card comes up for that. All right. Perfect match. All is well. 
Guan Yin goddess brings you enlightenment and impregnable protection. She fills her face with your fears and worries and releases them to the ocean. All is well. Ooh, that's nice to the ocean of love. <laughs> okay, and be flexible. Everything happens for a reason. There are many options out there. Perfection is an illusion. You can move forward even while going against the current, particularly, uh, particular, particularity will divert you from your destination. So it's like, even if they don't check all the boxes, right? Just flow with it and see where it will go. That's what I'm getting. Okay, and this is called the Guai Li. And this one was Guan Yin. Very nice.